Okay, kita tahu tadi kalau hex dari form, kita start dengan uh, to define the problem. Okay. So, apa yang kita masukkan sebagai uh, problem? Okay. Actually, uh, uh, the health system is a means. Okay. And a reformer needs to be clear about the ends. Apa, uh, how to settle the issues. Yeah? And also the problem should be defined based on the poor performance in terms of the outcomes. Bila kita tengok the outcomes is not very good. Uh, there is very bad per, uh, per performance the outcomes. Then we need to do something. We need to reform the health system. And focus on changing uh, things that contribute to improving the poor performance. Okay, ada dua tadi saya cakapkan, ada banyak-banyak elemen Then kita akan fokus eh, uh, macam mana how to change, uh, to do the changes That will contribute, uh, that contribute uh, to, that will improve eh, their performance And defining the problem is a very critical step Often ignored and also assumed uh, by many people uh, Especially the political people and as well as the health sector uh, peop uh, people So, uh, which problem that matter? Uh, so, the system reform means a strategic view of the problems and still high wa uh, how wide to cast on the net. Eh? And usually the problems, it means that the outcomes that we want to look at, uh, whether it uh, can affect people and also group of people. And we want to see that who's burdened the most um, from uh, this problem. And politics usually uh, sort this out, but uh, the political process uh, may be suspect uh, or inadequate. And usually the smart uh, reformers eh, try to influence the problem uh, definition. Okay. So, apa, uh, the role of the ethics in problem definition is that okay, they will decide what aspect uh, of performance that matter. It's not just a technical questions, but more kepada we need the, the value of um, the performance. Eh? And usually the reformers always incorporate value judgment in problem definition. But this is uh, often cannot or will not explicit about them. The explicit um, consideration, um, sorry, okay. Of ethical theory uh, leads to a clearer thinking about problem definition and public discussion about ethical principles may or may not be desirable from a political perspective. Yeah, that's the issue lah, hai. Yang satu isu yang berlaku. Um, lah, hai. So, uh, usually, uh, in order to identify the problems, okay, selalunya, of course lah, dia ada five points lah. Okay, why? Uh, why, uh, when, where, who, uh, and how. Eh? So, selalunya dia akan start with performance problem as outcomes and dia akan work backwards. Misalnya, daripada problem causes to causes of causes and also lain. Then, of course, semua yang mereka cari ni adalah must be the evidence base. Okay, bila kita tahu tadi and dia dah uh, have a problem definitions and then they need to develop a strategy and also an option eh? and this strategy uh, must be based on the explicit model of what causes the health system performance to be the way it is what causes the health system's performance very poor and the juga strategy yang perlu dibuat adalah what can be changed and how performance should uh, change as a result uh, then selalunya bila they want to do they do the strategies, they selalunya imitate, okay, but adapt and learn from others but consider also the local conditions. And this process of strategy develop uh, may matter as much as the content, uh, selalunya influenced by the political acceptability and also influence the quality of the plan. Selalunya bila kita cakap pasal health sector reform ni Memang kita tak boleh nak nafikan Memang kita tak boleh lari daripada politik okay. So selalunya politik matters is throw out uh, The issues on the uh, uh, HSR And doing better requires uh, political skill Not just political will If you want to do, if you are a, a politicians It's not just a political will But you also have a political skill 
and the stakeholder analysis is a starting point dan selalunya um, this uh, successful uh, reformers move from mapping politics to strategies to affect the politics okay dan bila dah uh, kita jadi strategi dan semuanya dan they want to implement eh the uh, orang kata the fourth phase uh, the fourth stage uh, implementation dan selalunya memang banyak berlaku kegagalan there are many fail okay at the stage of implementation eh this is because number one this is all this uh, orang kata lack of experience or lack of skill lack of administrative experience Uh, by the ministers and also their staff may lack the right kinds of experience. Okay. Um, ini berlaku eh, uh, the, what we call as the, when we have um, um, uh, perubahan politik, uh, perubahan government. It always be happen because there's a new people that they have a lack of experience. Lack of That's why if you want to be a ministry of health or anyone, you must be A doctor <laughs> itu yang orang kata it's very easy uh, in order whether you can manage or not eh? and somehow also um, this implementation has failed because of leaders turn over quickly every one year every two years they turn out orang kata the turnover of the leaders is frequently happen uh, and this is why the implementation has always failed and uh, another um kind of causes that the implementation is all of is that the implementation and its time and cost are not considered uh, in program design okay on the paper it's very nice it's very good etc but they forget on the time and cost and this may result uh, of failure of the implementations and this is also because of the political demands eh? and they want acute results but they forget the important things uh, they will affect on the implementation stage eh? and and um, of course they're encountering for position political tensions may turn elsewhere okay. so last but not least eh, yang kita tahu bahawa after the evaluations uh, the the last stage uh, will be the uh, evaluation uh, this is the fifth stage this is very important in terms of the health sector reform where evaluation doesn't always mean large eh? uh, uh, independent study and a uh, less formal results tracking also very useful and um, usually uh, to design um, uh, an evaluation strategy early, Uh, before the implementation begins. Uh, selalunya bila kita nak buat implementation tu, kita dah tahu dah apa yang perkara yang kita nak ukur. And this able process and outputs as well as outcomes and they will be collect baseline data and build a redundancy in evaluation design and they will create incentive for good evaluation. And somehow the hazard reform uh, cycle eh dia selalunya dia akan patah balik kepada problem definition eh uh, why bila dia they, they have the evaluations they come ada they see that there is a problem okay from the implementations then they have to start but again they have to go to the the first stage of the cycle just now eh and why this happen because of course macam saya cakap tadi is very poor design dia tak kira dari segi time dia tak tengok dari segi cost then they have to go back to the stage one eh? and even successful reforms often create new problems and uh, also uh, actors defend their interest in an anticipated ways uh, and somehow is because of the changes of the political the economic changes the social changes maka they have to start uh, uh, balik look at on the problem definition and also because the health and health system change uh, okay, that's why they have to go back okay uh, at the beginning of the cycle okay ini adalah orang kata of course if you want to uh, orang kata nak reform you must has a skills you bukan boleh bercakap rezeki orang kata oh i want to change things but you need to have a uh, skills you need to have uh, the administrative skills you need to have the experienced people you need to have a very good jatan kuasa to look at and how we want to reform the health system because it give a very big impact eh, to the population 
So uh, many needed skills can be taught actually. Okay, lagi banyak experience, lagi banyak skills that you can achieve and also um, you can get uh, uh, many skills in order to be uh, um, good in, in terms of the health system reform. And skills are developed by practitioners, of course, and rules can help that specific situations require judgment. And this, uh, actually, the health sector uh, reform, ni, dia adalah salah satu uh, learning requires effort and also active participation. It's not just orang kata senang cakap, but you need to go down to the field and look at the problems. And of course, they need a lot of effort in order for you to ensure that this, uh, the, the reformation is a successful one.